So, <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Oh dear God. Ooh, that's a hot mug guy. Hey guys, this is my review for the first episode of Supernatural Season 7. Kind of crazy to be here, and we are meeting the all-new boss. Now, for those of you who have followed along with me over the last several years following the reviews of the first six seasons of Supernatural, as well as 11 to 15, thank you. We are now in the final four for me, and we are starting off with the first episode of the season that, up until Andrew Dabb became showrunner, was regarded as one of the worst seasons of the entire show. I remember not having a very good fond taste of it, but I will say, I actually really like the opener. Is it perfect? No. Is it kind of a little bit of a retread of the first half of Swan Song? Maybe. But I actually do enjoy the horror elements that are in this. I really like the idea of a benevolent Castiel just being God and set, doing what he thinks is right. Who are you? I'm God. And if you stay in your place, you may live in my kingdom. If you rise up, I will strike you down. Not doing so well, are you, Sam? But he's at this point now where he's so powerful that he views humans as what they are, truly being nothing to him. What a brave little ant you are. You know you're powerless. You wouldn't dare move against me again. That would be pointless. Besides, once you were my favorite pets before you turned and bit me. Basically, he feels that he has every right to do what he do he needs to do, what he should do, what he is in his power to do to rid the world of awful things, starting with motivational speakers. <laughs> I actually really do enjoy Cass's involvement in this episode. I like where he went. Part of me kind of wishes it went on a little bit longer because this is kind of one of those trends, like very, very much so a trend in which a supernatural threat is revealed with it to be, well, in this case, it's not so much extinguished, it's just switched out with something else. While that is a little bit of a cheap, ga cheap gag at the end, I did still enjoy how it got there. Everything from the prosthetic makeup on Cass's face to the prosthetic effect where the Leviathans are trying to push themselves out of Castiel, that was really cool. I like the horror element with that story, and I actually didn't mind Sam's hallucinations. I thought those were kind of cool going back and forth between weird disco red light music to things like him being choked up like bondage chains up to the ceiling or when Lucifer appears and says actually you've never left you're just in another one of my traps I like that even though we the audience know that he is in fact out it is that cool little dimension to what Sam's going through and I will say it's a little bit haphazard that you know Bobby comes down the stairs sees ta Sam totally having like a PTSD moment Bobby's like hey we, we know where cast is come on up you're gonna just totally ignore this shit considering you know what's going on with Sam. So I thought that part was a little bit weak. I didn't actually mind Dean in this episode too much. I actually thought he was vindicated with a lot of what he was saying. From what I have been told, he gets even whinier in this season though. So I guess we have to wait and see. Uh, considering I thought Dean was near on insufferable in the last season, I would be interested to see how he goes in this one. But either way, though, I do like how the episode progresses. I love the gore and the violence in this episode, and I like how it comes to its end. I actually like that little twist, even though it is a little bit of a, you know, a pull gag. I thought it was really cool. I thought that you really thought that Castiel was either going to die or something odd, and then it's like, okay, this is too good to be true, and of course, something happens. Now, I have a little bit of a side story to this episode. I actually tried to introduce a friend of mine to this show for the first time ever. He had never watched anything before. He just was over and I was like, oh, Supernatural's on. Hey, uh, do you mind if I watch this episode? It's the season opener. He's like, sure. So he sat and watched it and he got all the way to the end. And that line where Castiel says, now this is going to be so much fun. He held that over me for months because it was admittedly without knowing any kind of context it was a pretty corny ass line and if anything that misha has really proven is that he's good at being castiel but when he tries to be anyone else except for when he's uh, jimmy novak i actually liked him as jimmy novak but when he's a villain 
there were certain actors who just couldn't do it well. Dean did it okay, considering he got kind of multiple chances throughout the show to do it, and he just was a variation of Dean. I think the best villain character you ever want to say that he did was his, his alternate version of himself in the end, back in season five. But truly, I thought Jared was really good at being a villain. I think he was the best one. And Bobby, too, actually. Bobby wasn't bad as a villain when he was overcome by the slug thing. Yeah, I don't know, Castiel is a villain. Eh, I think, eh, from what I've heard, the reason why he's not in this season as much is they had to kind of write things a little differently because he had a kid and he asked for some time off. And apparently that's gonna happen sooner or later. Well, I imagine that's what's gonna happen in the next episode, he's gonna blow up. I think that Meet the New Boss is actually pretty good. I think it's an enjoyable episode. And I'm actually going to be probably a lot more generous to this episode than I think I should be, but I'm, I don't know, I, I just can't not think of it as that. I'm gonna give the first episode of Supernatural Season 7 a 5 out of 7. I'm kind of surprised, I'm probably as surprised as you are, because truly speaking, I was not expecting that, but I think I was also kind of comparing this to the opener of 6, and 6's opening is just fucking garbage. Dull and boring. This one was interesting. This one had you captivated. You were curious to see what was going on. Fuck, they bring out some heavy hitters in this. You got Death being, uh, you know, chained up and having a pretty good one-off with Castiel. You have Castiel being a villainous character, taking out his wrath, but also something else mysteriously going on with him. And then Lucifer just makes a random appearance at the end of the episode. So... I think they blew their load, to be, to be honest, in this episode, because as we know, season seven is definitely going to go on a tumble. But I know that some of you, including you, Joe, I know that uh, you really enjoy this season, so I'm waiting to see where there is moments like that in this season. But otherwise, guys, that's my long-winded review of the first episode of season uh, seven. Um, no comments for this one, because it's just here. I Most likely, I've come back from the UK by now. But I hope you guys are in for a ride. It's going to be fun. It's going to be enjoyable. I'm excited to see what we see, what we come up with, what happens in this season. Because all, all the while, all the while we watch this season, I'm going to be thinking in the back of my mind, it's like, I thought this was the worst until I actually saw what the worst was. So, is this still as bad as I remember it? Or is it bad for a different reason? So I guess we'll find out.